a lot of women yes. go through menopause and mm -hmm. they're in a bad mood, they can't sleep, right. and their doctors, their regular doctors, mm -hmm. give them a hormones. Right. So, uh, do you think hormones are good or bioidentical hormones? Like, I don't know the difference, and right. I don't think a lot of the audience right. really understands what hormones do, right. why it can cause breast cancer. Right or ovarian cancer, right. and I'd love you to kind of touch on that. Sure. Well, there, every woman goes through menopause differently, and some women don't need a thing. They, you wouldn't even know they were having menopause. They wake up one day, their period's been gone for 12 months, and they just go on with their life. Other <laughs> women are horribly Good. symptomatic, and everything happens to them. Their vagina is dry, their hair is falling out, they're in a bad mood, they've gain 25 pounds. They can't sleep. They can't sleep. They just feel horrible. So that's when it starts to affect the men. Right, exactly. That's when <laughs> the men are aware of menopause. That's when they, they learn that word. Right. right. So anyway, some women will go to their um, OBGYN and they'll, or their doctor of internal medicine, whoever they're seeing, their GP, and they'll say, well, we're going to give you some conventional hormones for six to 12 months and we'll get you over the hump. So that's one solution. Women are concerned about that because there have been studies that have actually been stopped because of women having symptoms and having negative reaction from conventional hormones. Then there's something also called bioidentical hormones, which are plant-based and seem to have fewer side effects. But there are gynecologists who say, a hormone is a hormone is a hormone. We don't care if it comes from a plant. We don't care if it comes from a manufacturing plant. We don't care where it comes from. It's a hormone. Is there a difference? Is there a difference? Well, in there, your opinion. Right. I, I feel that there hasn't been enough research comparing them. There hasn't been enough research on bioidentical hormones by themselves. But I know many doctors who have practiced bioidentical hormonal therapy for 30, 35 years. And the several I know always tell me I have never had a woman contract uh, breast cancer because of hormonal therapy. So would you feel comfortable? So, but that's anecdotal. Right, you right. Know, that's so you anecdotal, don't really know. So you don't know. But whatever hormones you're taking, there are precautions that you can take to prevent estrogen that you're receiving turning into what's called negative estrogen. When you have too many negative estrogen metabolites circling through your body, you become oftentimes symptomatic. That's when a woman's breasts might get bigger. She might start holding water. All the things you're trying to prevent, the water retention, the mood, sometimes can be worse. So it almost it, it affects you negatively. Yes. More of diminishing returns, exactly. basically. Menopause is, and, and using hormones is something like Goldilocks. You know, you can't have too much and you can't have too little. You need just the right amount. And, and that's why it's important to work with a healthcare practitioner to make sure that you don't have too much in your body. So in other words, you try all these right. things and then to make, do, and if you get right. there and you're still like, right. you know what, I'm not sleeping. And I've had right. a friend like this. She yes. went, I think a year and a half mm -hmm. without I sleeping. I wouldn't go that long. I, yeah, she went and yeah. she was on three hours of sleep a night and she started taking a little bit of the natural yes. hormones and she said it definitely helped with her sleep. It's but huge. It's a game changer. And So I think for yeah. some women, yes. and one other thing I did mm -hmm want to ask you about is because another one of my friends stayed on the birth control pill right, right. all the way through right. and I think she's still on it she's mm -hmm. 62 mm -hmm. and has had no symptoms mm -hmm. whatsoever mm -hmm. of menopause in fact she still gets a period mm -hmm. so I I is that because she's on a hormone with the birth control pill well, probably she's just, is she just taking the birth control pill? Yes. Yeah, if she's just taking the birth control pill and she doesn't have a family history of issues, and I'm sure that's what she has discussed with her doctor, she's fine. You know, if her doctor has deemed it okay, it's probably okay. You know, I, um, but I wanted to say one thing about the bioidentical yeah. hormones. There are a lot of women 
using bioidentical hormones prophylactically, what we call prophylactically or preventatively. So, so what does that they, mean? Okay, what that means is they're not symptomatic, but they don't want their breasts to shrink up and they don't want their vagina to dry up and right. they don't want... Um, so they're afraid of what will happen right. if they use right. the natural benefits right. and then go through right. menopause. And they don't want to be depressed. And, and what do you... Th so it does right. cause depression too, right? Menopause, yes, because all of these hormones keep our brains lively and fed. So if they're using bioidentical hormones preventatively, yes. what's your opinion on that? I think, again, it's something to discuss with your doctor. I think they're remarkable. I've seen, I, I recently treated a woman 82 years old and she's been taking hormones since she's 50. Bioidentical. Bioidentical hormones for 32 years. Are her boobs still nice and <laughs> Well, I thought for 82 she looked pretty darn good. <laughs> I, I want to look like that oh. when I'm 82.